Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So, in this episode I haven't really planned it that much but there's a few things I'd like to cover. So let's start with what I've not got in my hand but what I've got in my hand. <laughs> so the Cronium Oil which is slightly got no, hasn't got the right uh, texture. Anyway let's start with this one. Now this is quite useful because I've leveled up and what I've done with this stuff, I'm going to put it down somewhere, I've got 32 of these. This will do. As you can see, the gurney will go down just fine when I've done that right. Let's just move this out to feel like this and put the builder's one. And in fact, you can't use the builder's one. <laughs> so I'll forget that idea because of the text you're changing as you put it down. So a few seconds to do this but because I leveled up get back a bit should be this and four more to go I guess because I leveled up so we have this one here I think I leveled up mining yeah I've got mining showing anyway so basically you get uh, which one is it now I think you just get extra prospecting you get extra ones when you mine this up but if I use like, the pickaxe here the lucky pickaxe. Let's have a look and see what happens here. Okay, so I have got. So now I put down 40. To, <laughs> I've got quite a lot, haven't I? I've got uh, four stacks from those 32. So I basically got four each. I think that. I think that's a bit more than average, isn't it? Let's have a look at the recipe for this. Um, does it have a recipe for this from all? Yeah, you get two in a crusher, so that was like double. I didn't expect to get quite as many as double, but uh, this one only gives you one, does it? Oh, it doesn't give you any. <laughs> one, I haven't found out that either. So that's actually a pretty decent way of getting um, a lot of materials from your little bit of materials. Now, I don't have a space for this as far as I can see but we could put it into the system anyway hopefully we've got capacity in here oh, four, and, four stacks and 35 that's pretty decent anyway so what I'd like to do today is complete one quest we have not done and that's to do with the um, a, oh, let's put it back again here I was looking up copper because I needed copper to make some advanced coils Basically, I need to make, to complete this, we've got to make an advanced item laser relay. So for that, we need a, an advanced coil and an item relay. Now, an item relay needs a, a fluid laser relay, which needs an energy laser relay through the... So we need, let's make some of these. I would like to make four, I think. Maybe we make eight later on. So let's go back again. So we've got the fluid laser relay so we basically have to put that through the atomic reconstructor we'll do that I'm probably not going to use these actually I'll just let's just put it down anyway I get two then yes I did fantastic because that's the one part of the quest and the last part of the quest was to make an item relay now an item relay I think is that again too so isn't it I'm only going to do this to complete the quest but yep indeed it went green so the last thing then is the advanced item relay which is this one which we should be able to do fairly easily good I'm surprised about that. I didn't expect to have everything in the system. Because I made some more Estonia crystals and blocks of redstone. I can actually put those back anyway. We don't need those. In fact, I could have got. didn't need to take those out. Oh, it has completed the quest. Fantastic. The reason I didn't think it was going to complete the quest was because of the laser wrench. So let's have a look at F4. Yeah, I'd got those two and I hadn't detected the laser wrench. But it doesn't make any difference. I think we can claim it. I'm going to claim it anyway because it's made. Uh, that's me why it didn't get detected. Probably because it did it in the wrong order. So let's have a go look at that again. Go back and just finish that one off. 
638. So, okay. Slash. I have to keep doing this, but I really shouldn't do it. But, but there's no point in making two lids. If it was something else, I would actually probably do it 638, wasn't it? Yeah. So let's get that quest. But a tool itself is less important. So we've done that one. And the other two here are um, Canola and Empowered Void. I don't want to do that. Well, not until I need it, shall we say. I don't care about the. To be honest with you, I don't actually care about the, the quest rewards in that one. Because that's for power. Oh, we got another one of those. That's actually good. I'd already been back to the nether and actually got the other one uh, made. So let's have a look. Um, ingots. So I've actually got one of these, which is the right one. So we have to split this up and then put it back through the um, stoked crucible. But I don't want to do that for the time. We'll put these away. As I don't need those. Hopefully I don't fill up my stuff. Oh, oh I did open up another chest that got the food on them. I got some smiley clouds. That's going, oh, that's interesting. What is a smiley cloud? Let's have a look at it. So if you look at this here and look at the recipe for this, and then you can have a look here. So it tells you about it here, actually issues manual. So it's a smiley cloud. It's a magical floating cloud, which is getting a piece of fly through, a piece of solidified experience. Have a look at the manual. It hovers up and down, just jolly and fun. So basically, <laughs> when right clicked, you can give it a name. So we can give, we'll give it a name, Elpec or Ethro. Let's do that then. So we put it down. So just do you have to place it down with a Q or do I, or do I throw it? So then we right click it. Oh yes, there we go. Elpec. Is that right? Elpec the smiling. <laughs> oh, I think I spelled that wrong. <laughs> Let me just check that again because I forgot. <laughs> um, yeah. I should write them down. <laughs> I will write them down just because I'm hopeless and stuff like this. Memory like a sieve, I tell you. Right, okay. Uh, recipe. This one. Let's go to the manual and have a look. Oh, it's L pack, not L pack. That's why it didn't work. And the other one was Ethro. Okay, let's try that. I don't know if we can. It's supposed to fly up and fly up and down. So let's try this one then. And this one, I'll give it a name. Oh, and he drops. Yes, that's right. He drops. This one drops redstone, and this one. I don't know this one. This this one here. And he's got what? <laughs> he's got um, some interface on it, yes. I don't know whether you can actually break him. What's he do if you break him? Nothing. What if I throw him down Q? Can I throw him down? Well, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's call him again. I wonder if you get it the same thing every time. Yes, you do. So there you go. But they're supposed to float up and down. Oh, he's got a... He's got a <laughs> very good. Right, I don't know whether they have any uses other than that, but they're supposed to float up and down, aren't they? Oh, just floating up hearts. Okay, never mind. Anyway, that's a reasonably... Um, I think that's just a bit of fun, really. Let's put them away. In fact, let's put these two away as well. No tool. That's just a distraction. Now it's coming towards night time, so I'm going to trundle off to the um, to the altar, the iridescent altar, because on here I've set up this. So I've set up the recipe for a chalice, um, so we can actually make this. Now what the chalice recipe re needs is other things. Now let's have a look at that. And I think I've got them here. So let's let's uh, open up this book. 
and it's in under radiance so we double click that and then we can come to hit the chalice containment and as you notice it's got five aquamarines floating around it here like this and those are the ones which basically mean those are the ones well we'll see let's do it and see what i've never done this it's my first time a something new again let's put that up there and get the resonating wand out here we go and right click this and then what happens is these things here there it is so that one wants and that one's this one on it so i've put one of those on there that's right and then it'll pick up another one there i wasn't sure whether i had to separate these this is why i was a bit surprised when it said four that's the fourth one and that's the next one will be coming up in a second we put it on and that's enough for that to actually make the recipe and in a few seconds let's go and have a look at it oh it's very whizzy isn't it we should get the chalice good so this thing has got all sorts of uses but the one we're going to use it for let's go back to the starlight altar and i'm going to move things around a bit i would like to put this down here now i've got a feeling i can't put it you've got to feed it from below so let's do that so what i'm going to do is i don't know whether it has to be on the altar itself so it's something to find out so i need some fluid duct item duct hardened fluid duct that's will do fine in fact i do need hardened because uh, this stuff is very cold so we'll go down like that and we can remove the drum the drum's fairly full and we'll put on top of that this chalice so this chalice can now get filled up with um, liquid starlight so let's take another rock crystal out of here because that's what these are for and right click this so this should start to fill up now what I'm not sure about of course it's not and in the middle here we should get something appearing it's a bad time of course but I wanted to go and find the other I'll tell you what we'll come back in a second to look at that one but I wanted to do is to check for the next where's it gone to my waist let's go back to the altar for that for the missing the uh, the last um, constellation now I was doing some research basically watching my cement uh, mischief and mice's video and he says it comes every 36 days so if I do if I look for the time date it tells me we're on 1078 now when it goes to 1080 that's a divisible by 36 so that should be one of the days where we get this thing so we're two days early so we're not going to see it yet now since it's night time let's go back to the starlight all the time let's see if this is actually working oh yes it is look I've actually got some starlight in here now not enough and it's doing its animation which is nice and which is cool now what we can also do i believe and now what i'm 100 percent sure about is does this have to be on that for this to work now what i'm talking about is here if we put something in here now like if we get some gems out of here take an aquamarine gem or maybe a lens we always need both of those we put the, the aquamarine gem, gem on here like this now what it's supposed to use is use less of a bucket now i've got a feeling that this tank at the moment is very empty so look how can we find that out can we shift right click it i can see it but it doesn't tell me it tells me on the tank i saw a tank picture a second ago can i find that by right clicking this if it gives me no it doesn't tell me how much is in that tank what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to use this starlight instead of using the starlight in here and it's also supposed to use a lot less now obviously i can put this chalice onto here like that there's something else i could do actually is i could make another star a light well 
let's go and do that while this is messing around so if we can get things going a bit faster I'm I think we could put it right beside this now if we can then we can put it across there so let's go and check that out so what do we need for a light well let's have a look in the, the book here I need to get rid of this text because I won't be able to find anything this one so what do we need fairly straightforward one Chris rock crystal ruined marble and chiseled marble so I can remember that okay so first of all we need some marble out of that then we need five pieces of marble and it doesn't matter which one we'll use we'll use this one So we've got five pieces of marble, so we need two of those for one and three for the other. So let's get the chisel out. Where's the chisel gone to? It should be in here. Oh. I'm just not seeing it. I didn't think I just thought I didn't think I was seeing it. Okay. So let's chisel the marble. So let's put that one in. So we need three runes, ruined marble. So let's chisel that. And these needed to be chiseled marble. So we chisel these. So that's what we need. So let's go and put those down. I'm going to move that like this. So in the altar here. Now the altar should have plenty of starlight because we've got that starlight collector crystal. Now, of course, this one is slightly more difficult. I think we needed two across here. Uh, I think it's two across here and two over here, but I'm not 100% sure if I got that exactly right. We'll find out in a second. How did I do that? No, got that. Oh, yes, we need a rock crystal, don't we? Now, have I got any rock, rubbishy rock crystals? Those are actually on the good side. This is a 60% one. That'll do. If I'm not happy, I can, happy with, I can always get some more. So that's just, and that goes in the middle, I think. Yes, that's the one. So let's, let's get the wand out. Right, click this. It's quite nice being able to craft whenever you want and not having to wait. So here we go back to the Starlight Altar. Now, if we can, the difficulty is seeing this, isn't it? Tell you what we'll do. We'll move this to verify it's going to work. Now I don't know whether we lose that Starlight in there if I move it. We'll soon find out as well. That's something else I needed, wanted to test. Let's put this down on here. Oh yes, you do lose it. There's nothing in the tank. Shame. And then let's take. Let's put this the light well beside that. And I shall remove this from here for the time being. Might be able to put it back. Then we get double, double input, so to speak. And let's put a rock crystal on here. Now it might not work until we get to, to night time. Of course, let's get a rock crystal on this chest. So we have to wait and see whether or not that actually does work. There is something else we can do to make this go a bit faster. And that's to take this other um, crystal that I've got here. And then we can link that, this collector crystal. We can link it to these things here so it makes it go faster. So we could link it to this light well here and we could link it to I won't link it to that one for the time being. Oh, I can't link it with a with a with a resident one. If you use a linking tool, that won't work. Where I'm all it. I'll try that again. So it's now linked. And as you can see, that's actually started to animate reasonably. Ah, so that's working then. Great. So that is going to work. I've not got much in there at the moment, but it because of this crystal being here it will make this go faster so that's uh, the capacity of this I think is about 24 buckets so we've got 26 buckets 
which is probably going to be uh, not ideal. So let's. I might have to find a different way to do that, but for the time being, this is good. So that's one thing I've found out. So we can actually do this. Let's put that onto there. Let's get the wand out. I'll tell you what we're doing. Let's put this away. I'd like to make sure we've got at least one bucket's worth in here, but right click this. Now this is supposed to have access to the sky and it hasn't. I'm going to move this. So where will we put this? Let's go and put this. Let's go and put it on the waystone. <laughs> Seems like a good place, doesn't it? Yep, gets rid of the snow as well. Which actually sort of um, is nice. I didn't like it being the snow there. Let's link this to the light bulb. Move off it so it stops that. Now that looks like it's going faster. I do need to put this back. I need to put the drum back, otherwise we'll lose some stuff when this gets filled up. I don't know what's happening to that. It's just disappearing somewhere, isn't it? Maybe we have to wait a night. I'm flying. That's it. Anyway, let's try this to see if it actually makes any difference. Oh, I've got a bucket. I need to make sure I've got my bucket with me. Oh, I definitely got one somewhere. There we go. And it's already got some starlight in it. Fantastic. Oh yes, it is working, look. And it goes fast. You can see then that was working. So therefore, and it tends to use this before it uses this, which is great because what that means is we don't have to spend the time figuring out which one we have to use for doing that. So whenever you need to do that, it's a lot faster and a lot easier to do it this way, isn't it? So let's just put another one on. Watch that go again. It's using nowhere near as much starlight either. So let's get my magnet out. I'm not sure where my magnet is at the moment. It's in one of these. Should be in ah oh, that one, and it wasn't. So we can pick up the reson uh, re resonating gem. <laughs> I like that. Good animation, and it's fast. And of course we can make lenses in this way, which is also nice. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's really good. So making reson resonating gems now is really not very difficult. <laughs> but there is some more in the manual, and I'm not sure about this. I'm good. What I'm going to do is I think I will test this. So go back into the into the tome here, uh, tomb tome. And let's have a look because it does tell us about this. But I'm not going to read all of that out. But let's go back out of here and have a look at this one. The ever shifting fountain. Now the ever shifting fountain is basically, I think, from what I understand, having read it, um, it produces liquid starlight. crafting options so we can do this we got a focus ring here and then we have to basically make this device that's not too bad so we need just four resonating gems well I've made eight while I've been talking to you here with some sooty marble and some wooden planks I think it doesn't matter any of the pl I think it's like it's any planks isn't it and two you know, we can make one of these and then that needs to be put into its own little um, construction here and then we need to go back here and have a look at this one. Now, Neuromantic Prime. This is another device, but there's a second device for finding it, sort of like a, a resonator. 
So basically this thing here tells you how to find stuff. Now we need quite a lot. We only need one, two, three, six. We need six resonating gems for that. So there's quite a few of those, but I'll do that in my own time, I think. So we'll have a look at that later on. So that's what I wanted to cover today about astral sorcery. I seem to have, I said I'd finished it, and I seem to be doing it more and more. <laughs> Very strange, huh? Right. Now I haven't done much in here since last time. In fact, I don't think I've done anything in here. Let's have a look in here. We've got another five rhodium crystals. We need another three, I think. I hope when I upgrade that, it's going to it's going to produce those faster. I think if you if you actually produce, if I produce the second tier of this, I know it uses more power. It might do them faster. I'm going to take a chance. And doing that one anyway let's while we're doing here let's have a look at what else we can do so I was stuck on this one I can't do this one I've got to figure out why I can't do it because I really don't know because we should be able to do that one and obviously you can't do this one and I don't understand this either with an ME terminal produces this, but this is the same thing. 4620, doesn't make any sense that one. And this one we can't do. For whatever reason, I don't know, I have to look it up. It might be fixed in a later release, if anybody tried it, let me know please, because it would help. So I don't spend too much time, waste too much time on trying to figure it out if it's, if it's fixed. Now, let's have a look at the other quests. I will do this Empowered Void Crystal at some stage, but I'm not using very much of it. I should also do this one too, a Dragon Egg Mill. We've got one, because we got it as a reward, but of course that's not ever going to get detected, so we have to make another one. Let's have a look. I mistyped that, didn't I? this one so we're missing a couple of bits but not that much let's have a look at that again when it moved to that so this one's not difficult we can do that one. <laughs> oh, I've got a few steps to do this one haven't I? I should be able to do this one yes we can let's do what we can with those got four put those away so that one we can also do. So we'll need to do some of these. Let's do a stack of redstone torches because they're always useful. And it saves messing around. So we need one of these. And then that should be it, I th think. Then we can make that dragon egg mill. Fantastic all that GP and I can burn put it down beside this one which I intend to do let's put it down here actually so it's even more out of the way and we can put another dragon egg on that because we've got those and we've got plenty we can make some more no problem whatsoever let's have a look at how many we've got here 801 Dragon egg components, 27 makes one. So that's going along very nicely. So we've got plenty of those. Dragon egg. Let's kill that off. Oops, I've done it again. So when you press R, oh, that's anyway, it's here, look. How is it shift right click? Yes, it is. Shift right click takes one out. We'll put this down. Oh, and I need to check the day as well because it's going night time again. I don't need so much GP, but I'll tell you one thing, it's well worth having any, any time when you can, it's no big deal. So let's have a look. One more day. One more night and we should be there. Now, the next day we should get the eclipse. So the eclipse, we'll have a look at that as well. If we've got good weather, that is. <laughs> now, 
Let's check those quests again. I'm working on three quests at the moment. Let's claim that back. This one I'm not going to do, it's hard. <laughs> and I don't really want to do this one. Oh, we can claim these ones, why not? Well, everything's been done, of course. Lamp of Cinders and a Giant's Pickaxe. I could put a Giant's Pickaxe on the, on the wall as well, that would be quite nice. I really should start to do some, this as well, some, apply, some um, advanced rocketry. I'm not quite sure where we're going to go with that one. I don't know why it gives me XP as a reward. So, so we get feral lanterns and an XP tap, which is actually not bad. Medikits and the last one. Hopefully we don't get a big one. We get iron armor, which is uh, not awesome. Put the, uh, I'll put the iron or armor where we normally put the iron armor, which is basically trashed. It all gets trashed. The reason I'm putting it in here, it will actually automatically go out through there into the trash can. As it doesn't, if I've mis misclicked, it'll just block up the system. So that's that one. So now, let's go over here and put these away. I think that's everything from there. Medikits go into where? Medical, medical, for example, maybe. Yep. <laughs> and is that everything? Oh, the XP tap and therefore we'll put those in here. I don't think I've got extra ones of those around, so I'll put those into there. The only thing I did sort of realise is I had messed up something. Can we put booster cards in here? Oh, we can. Good. Let's put some booster cards in there. Those are the infinity booster cards. Not, I just, not so many of those, but we always want the ordinary booster cards, which is this one. Can I do any of those? Two. I'm do 48, fantastic. Right, let's put those into this. And that'll, give it, that'll give this quite a large range, actually. I think energy uses... So it's 350 blocks away. So that basically covers everywhere. And it doesn't matter about the energy usage because we're connecting through um, one of these and one of those gets a lot of power. I really do need to upgrade that as well, but I'm waiting to get the uh, this crystals in here, the rhodium crystals. It's very slow. What just came in here? Raw limestone. That should disappear out of there, to be honest with you. Oh no. Actually, that will stay there. Where did that come from? That's the first rural limestone I've seen anyway, so to look in it. Micro's doing nicely. We've got nineteen. So that means we can do the other machines. I'm just wondering whether to do that with you or do it off camera. Probably they're fairly boring, aren't they? I suspect. Um the lunar panel is just like a solar panel uh, maybe I should do it anyway and then the, we can upgrade then the next one was a nanobot in fact the nanobot I probably I'm umming and ahhing as to whether I, I should do it, it give, I can put in strength in there we can get strength 2 but it uses quite a lot of power so I'll leave that for a bit anyway but maybe I'll do the, do the night one should we do the night one have a look at the lunar one. We don't need dragon egg on here anymore. Move my thing out of the way. So let's have a look for the lunar panel. So we would have to make a tier one, lunar ray tier one. So we need lithorite blocks, that's no a microfoot. Then we need this thing here. So interconnects and then these cells. So we just need red dye. Now red dye is dead easy. Let's get that sorted out as well. One stack of that will be enough to do lots of red dye. Let's use the um, sort my item. Let's use this to do that. And let's look for the uses of this one. So we need red flowers. I think they're towards the end. 
Let's put those through here and that'll sort of craft those into petals. Let's put the flower back, the ones of the one flower that we get from 64. And then we can look along here and look for the uses of this. So my guess is it's going to be right at the back. Indeed it is. So let's take a stack of these. Fantastic, look at that. How easy that is nowadays. I think this is what we need to do. Now, how many do we need? Three, probably nine. So look, three for that. Oh. So we've got three of those. Now we need, I don't know what we can do. We haven't got it in there. I think it's in here. With the right blocks, interconnects, and litherite itself is in here. Take out the stack from there. That comes in fairly slowly, but it comes in. It comes in, so I'm not going to complain. So let's try that again. Oh, still missing. Still missing the micro. So let's get the micro out. And Put that into the system. I'll take it all out. So we've got one of those, so we should be able to make this the lunar array. Let's put this. Oh, I completed two on lunar array. Fantastic. Let's just put this down here. Now we need our assembler. There it is. Let's left click this. So we need structure to frame 16. Well, that's good. We got those four null modifiers. I think I've got that already and nine micro lunar cells. Let's have a look at that one. Now what's the micro lunar cell? Probably haven't got enough for that yet. That's the lunar voltage. This one. Oh, well, we're not gonna have enough for this, are we? So we need 27 of these. So we've got uh, two. Keep clicking this until I get to 27. What am I missing? I never believe it. <laughs> it should be. In, it should be. Is that sound going up or down? It's going up. So we should get an eclipse today. Think. let's just double check that yeah that's the day hopefully it's the day that starts now and not supposed to the one which was yesterday <laughs> that could have happened as well couldn't it so right um i got distracted then what did i want oh lapis lazuli wasn't it Let's go for the uses of this. Ah, oh, probably better doing that. It doesn't work that way. Of course, this is going to be pulled out from the system, isn't it? Yes, of course. So that's the 27 of those. Now we need nine of these things, so how many is that going to take? We need some more interconnects, they're going to take a while. It's a micro, and I'm not going to get anywhere near what we need. Yeah, like one more. <laughs> oh, actually, I can put those into the system too, can I? Let's put those into the system and see what that. I think it's going to be interconnects we're going to need and micro. We've got 19, so we need 27 of those. We're nowhere near. 
getting enough micro. Now, what was the recipe for this? It was a clear lens is the preferred lens for micro. So I should have a clear lens on here. Let's go and double check that. It's a white laser lens, okay. Let's go put the right one in. <laughs> uh, right, we need seven pieces of glass. Let's just craft that here. Probably explains why I haven't been getting as much micro as I was expecting to. Unless it changed, of course. Well, that's the white lens. That's the clear lens. Just double check that recipe again in case I got it wrong. Where did the micro go to? Oh, it's on. It's in the system, isn't it? So that was the recipe for that. No, it is a white laser lens. Oh, excuse me, I've just messed that up. That was very careless. I should, should have looked carefully. They, they look very similar anyway, so that, but 5%, I don't know if I'm getting 5% or not, so. I I did it right first time. Anyway, never mind. The other thing I do have noticed is there is a slight problem with this. See, that's full and it should have been turned off and it says, seems to be a bug in, in here because what I've done here is just put a lever on it so I turn the lever on and turn it off again because this thing is set to the signal set from signal now for some reason it's not detecting the, the down turn so now it's turned off as it should be so the power should then go down and it should turn itself on again when it gets down that bit does work which in fact the failure is actually it's better that way than it is another way so let's have a look before I go because I'm nearly finished today let me just double check the date and time I'm hoping that we get that one for that thing so oh yes look that's the right picture for the that's the solar eclipse which we're waiting for so it's the night after that we should be able to see the thing so let's go over there and check out our telescope We weren't able to see it yet, but there is something else we could make from the book that might be actually useful. So let's go to knowledge again. I think it is Mantle of Stars. Or is it not in this bit? Or is, it, is it not in this? Let's go back to knowledge constellations. Oh yes, it's the stellar refraction table. So we need five of those two and dies. Oh, that could be a bit awkward. So let's get that out anyway. We'll see what we can do in that one while I'm waiting for the eclipse. Uh, I mean, waiting for the night. So let's go over here. We need five pieces of marble and the chisel. What did I do with the chisel? Sure, it's here. Oh, there it is. I just have difficulty seeing it. Let's get five pieces of marble out of the system. It is quite convenient being able to use a chisel on that. So, thank you very much, Bob the Big Bat, for that tip. It's a good, really good one, actually. Because let's just go, boom, and I got those five. So they go down the bottom here. Now the difficulty of course is here is we've got, I think that's where it goes. Because <laughs> they've got the extra, let me double check that recipe. Oh no, I've got it nearly right. They go down. What else do we need? Star metal ingots and resonating gems. Let's get those out. I 
This thing, is, by the way, is really it's quite an awesome device. I think they go there like that, and they go there like that. And then we need some wood, and I don't know if it matters what type of wood we use. So let's have a look. Obviously, the easiest way to get that might actually be with the. Oh yes, of course. Let's sort that out. Um, what I'm talking about is the wireless. Um, Infinity wireless card, but the wireless card we've got. So let's have a look. Now I want to go to the controls. Now, which one is it? It's called wireless something or other. So it'll be down at the bottom if it's sorted alphabetically, which they usually are. Yes, here we go. Activate the magnet, open magnet, open this one. So, what we're going to use for that one. Um, not left shift. I've got to think of something that's not being used. Uh, divide. Okay. Done. Done. Back to game. So divide. We get the card because it's in our, you see it's here in our bubble slot so now I should be able to get wood so I think it's about four pieces so let's have a look oops now what happens there oh, I stayed there good so it's then just in the ends, okay. And then we need some dies, I think is what we need. Does it matter, or are they just any dies? It looks like any dies. So let's get some dies out of the system. Oh yeah, I can take some red die. And blue dye. Put that into this under here. It goes here, I think. Yeah, fantastic. So let's give this a click. Oh yes, and you you get the colourful one in this particular case <laughs> the rainbow type effect and you get the rainy the rainbow patterns on the bottom there <laughs> that's cool isn't it now this thing is very powerful a very powerful device I'm just wondering where to put it you know I don't need these anymore. Let's remove these. Um, it would have been better if I hadn't broken up the thing completely, wouldn't it? Let's put that. Yeah, that'll do in there. Um, let's get the sooty marble out of there. Oh, it's coming up to night time. Good. That's what we're waiting for. Let's put the refraction table on there like that and now we need to put some paper on the bottom of it and also some, some glass and I'm gonna to have to make those but after that another time let's have a look have we got any views in here yes we have and here it is look and you can see it so it is let we've got plenty of time to check this out let's go to constellations and it's this one Hor horologium so horologium is just a cross there we go from here to here and it must be up here I guess no why not <laughs> did I miss that one Yes, I just 
didn't do it. So that is the last of the constellations. So we've found them all now. Let's go to the book, look at the constellations. So any one that we need, we can see straight away. So it now tells us about that particular one. But it's got question marks on here. Why? Seems to shift in time, but only finds it hard rays. So we should even be able to see that on the altar here, on this thing here. No, we've got none at the moment. Probably because it's not light dark enough. We probably have to wait till midnight to, for that one to actually do its business. That's really interesting. It's a bit weird that we haven't discovered that one. Or maybe we have to wait. I don't know exactly what the rules are. So we'll look on here one more time. Maybe I need to make some paper. Let's do if we can do that one as well. There are a lot of things I haven't made. So we need parchment. Oh, so it's going to pull in the paper. Let's try for eight pieces of paper. I think this has to be done on the light table. On this. With some, res oh, with some gems. Yes, good. What oh, gives us eight? Now we put these on here. And that's has that lit up the thing. Let's have a look. We can see the paper, but we still haven't seen that. So we need to make some glass as well. So let's go and have a look at that. This one. Infused glass. How do we make the infuse? Okay, celestial altar. So we need. Oh, we do need a cuddle lens. Um, which one's easy to do for us? <laughs> An iron pickaxe. It's actually not that difficult. Oh, which one did I pick last time then? Just try that. It was down the sides, wasn't it? But maybe it's not like that. Hold on, I'll have to double check it. Okay, yes. Two gems and a lens. Got a lens and two gems. I'm doing some more really sort of interesting stuff at the moment. Good. <laughs> it decides to rain. It takes quite a long time to do this, doesn't it? That's finished. So we should be able to f make that recipe now. Let's have a look at that recipe. Oops. So, oh, I haven't got any more lenses, have I? Okay. Let's get the stuff that we need out of the system. Four of these. Now, was it four of. I think it's. I'm not sure whether it's ingots or crystals. But they go in the corners, don't they? That goes in the middle. We got lenses, we can do it without having to go back. Sorry, I'm going to do it like this. Go back to this one. Forgetting how I did it. It is dust. Good. Ah, dust is here. two lenses. Well, we're not using these. They have no effect anymore at all, so let's just shift click those off the things. We can reuse these lenses. Very easy to make some more now. Oops, I need to... Oh, I 
one now, so to double it up. Well, where's my knack? Did you just see that? Then my dank null has disappeared. Ha! <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll have to restore my game to get that back again. Oh, but we'll make one of these to start with. It's not the first time I've seen that behaviour. And I'm not sure what's causing it. I could cheat another one in, but it's got all those things in it. I suppose, to be honest with you, I don't care about the things which are in it. It's got some marble in there, but I'm pretty sure marble's reasonably good. Let's go and put this on here now. Now we can see. Yes, we can. So I'm going to do this one. Let's do this one. Try go over three, and hopefully it went pop. <laughs> Try again. It went pop. We've got eight to go. Oh, nice! It's not working very nice, is it? <laughs> Let's try in and out. Ah, that one worked. So we've got some engraved glass now. So we take the parchment off here. How do I get the parchment off here? Look. Oh, how do I get a shift right click here? Yes. So what we can then do is put an item in there. Let's go and get a book out of the system. In fact, you know, that would be better to do it this way, wouldn't it? And I haven't got any book. We can do books though, I think. We should be able to use any of these recipes. Good. And let's put this onto here. And then, what do we have to do? Right click it. Or does it just do it itself? At the middle, at midnight. Probably too late. Yes, it looks like it's morning. So I don't think it does it anymore. Because we've now got to wait 36 days to do this again. <laughs> oh, well done, that man. So anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed it. It's actually been quite fun to do. I've had to learn a few bits and pieces on the way. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.